Ooh, what up guys? We got it in. Check us out. Ooh, one of 95, the Stradman hoodie. I'm pumped. So pumped we're gonna go fishing for the first time in like a week because you know I've been out cold with the flu. It has sucked. I really don't have a game plan for today, know which pond I'm fishing, but I just want to get out and have some fun with you guys. So it's a beautiful Saturday, the day before the Super Bowl. Let's go see if we can't catch some fish. I got to put a few rods in the STI right quick. Let's go ahead and get outdoors. I got the, uh, you know, the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod. We should be sounding pretty good today. I got a battery pack. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm doing things a lot differently today. We're taking chances, man. No batteries. We're just going with one battery pack. We're going to see how this thing works. Let's see if we can't snag some fish before work tonight. I got like four or five hours, so let's go. Look at that, do you see that right there? Out of focus, I think you can tell what emblem it is though, baby. We are hungry. Hit CrossFit this morning. Ooh, it was a good workout. Bunch of burpees, a lot of the bike, and then power cleans. Anyways, I got a snack on something, so I stopped at the Chick-fil-A right quick. I'm gonna get a couple chicken sandwiches, then hit the water. Ooh, Chick-fil-A was delicious, and guess what? We have just rolled up to the first spot. And with that, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. You guys already know the deal. You can try your first box for as low as $4.99 with the link in the description. Code Weston at checkout otherwise. And let me show you what we got in here because we got some goodies. And I do say goodies in the box this month. But we also put a couple extra things in here. You can add extras. And so what we have done is, uh, you know, I threw some hooks in here. I threw some exo ribbon worms. We're gonna have some fun throwing some jigs. We got creature baits in this baby. And then uh, we also have a thwacker. This is a lipless crankbait, perfect for tearing apart your local ponds. Uh, you can control the depth as opposed to those square bills. Great for fishing around rock or off the boat, kayak, etc. But you know, when you're fishing these shallow ponds, you gotta be careful with those square bills. So the lipless is gonna be fantastic. Now, let's tell you what actually came in this month's box which is everything underneath here. I just added some extra goodies, like I said. You can actually add stuff to your order with your mystery tackle box, and you can get that with free shipping. So if you're getting your mystery tackle box, but you know you want a specific extra lure, an extra bait uh, tossed in there that you know and love, that you've uh, probably found through your mystery tackle boxes, you can get that added, and you just pay a small price for that. If you've got the Carl's Club membership, you're getting it at 30% off already. It's gonna ship for free with your box. Back to it. We got a juicy looking swim bait over here. Could be good. We've got some Z-Man 10X Tough. This is that Elastec stuff. You basically can't break this stuff. I'm pretty sure these are designed for the Ned Rig, so we might toss these around. And we got a, a jerk bait in here. Nice little shad coloration. We have a, a crank, the Shiver Crank. This thing dives six to 10 feet, so we probably ain't gonna be throwing him at the pond today. We've got a Nano Jig, which I believe is just a, a little tiny jig. And then we have some almost like flukes, but they are smoke shad like almost like a ribbon tail fluke it's kind of interesting we're always trying new stuff with the mystery tackle box but let's go ahead and not delay any longer get you hooked up on the gopro and let's actually start fishing because that's what we're here to do right so let's do it i might start things off by hitting under this fountain or a uh, waterfall that's typically what i do that's a fountain by the way that's a waterfall we got all our tasty bass treats lined up we'll just toss this beaver on the texas rig and see if we get any hits in here. We got a nice little crawfish bait on here. We'll toss that though. We trying to feature some new goodies for y'all today. Oh, that's a turtle. You know what? I think my brakes were set up for a very windy day. That was like a very short cast. That felt like a nice tug right there, but I just got caught underneath the rock again. Let's toss around a worm for a minute just to uh, eliminate that from the enticing treat options. We got options in the box today, baby. I see three people fishing the ponds here today. No hits on the worm. Before we go too crazy with all the stuff out of this box, let me grab the drop shot for a minute and see if we can't just get some hits on the, uh, the old finesse, because that seems like what is necessary on a day like today. Are you all active on Instagram or not really? YouTube, yeah, I'm like what do you, YouTube. yeah. I'm, I'm more, more YouTube than IG, but. No, it's a pleasure, bro. Um, uh, if you want to hit that with me, I'm just going up the street. <sighs> Try something out? different because the thing is, I don't think this thing is going to produce, dude. I've seen out? all five people, yeah. I'm not saying they're going to bite there either. <laughs> it's, it's possible. <laughs> all right, y'all, funny little turn of events. I run into a dude named Charles. Cool dude, man. We were talking for a minute, kind of exchanging some juicy little honey holes. He's buddies with Brandon, that bass fishing dude. You know, I fished with him quite a few times and we are going to uh, try another little spot together. I told him, look dude, this spot has not been producing today. We both knew the, the juicy zones at that pond right there. And uh, of course we both had good days there, but 
today is way more stained than normal and uh, needless to say we're on our way to a juicy little community one with all kinds of no fishing signs it is a bummer but uh, sometimes we get lucky with some prime fishing time and no one ever says a thing so we're gonna try out this community just about five six seven eight nine twenty minutes up the street something like that and uh, yeah man that'll be that uh, I'm, I'm trying to catch a fish today I don't know about you I don't know about Charles behind me man but we are trying to uh, link up with something I don't want to leave you guys hanging high and dry with no fish catches you know what I mean so let's get there I've had good luck in this spot though, um, which doesn't mean anything today, of course, but rolling up to spot number two, man. See if we can't get a bite right here in the popular spot. Here you go. This is the this is the four and a half on the end of the canal here. And this is on a little whopper plopper. Oh bro, that's my lure. Uh, oh, you see that? Ooh, you see that? You go. see that? You see that? Okay! <laughs> I'm talking a big game over here. I'm showing Charles my, my big catch at this location. And once you know, there goes my rod. There goes. <laughs> And all right, we're starting off with like a two pounder, I think. Dude, this is a solid little, oh solid little pond donkey. Look, she's fat, boys. She's fat. Dude, so fat, because look at how tiny this mouth is. Yeah. This oh thing, my God. this is like a one pound fish, but she's two and a quarter right here. <laughs> that was so funny. Is that one-handed? Yes, yes, I said, oh. <laughs> okay, I left the big camera in the car, guys, but look, if they're hitting, I'm trying to catch them, so I better just go ahead and get this one back in the water. Look at that first catch of the day, meeting some new friends, having some fun at the classic locations. Let's see if we can't get a nice little release on homie right here. We're filming on the new GoPro that I'm just hoping is recording over here, because, you know, I'm trying to get this thing dialed in. All right. Go on, killer. Nice and easy. <laughs> that was what we call luck. You want, you, hey, you want drop shot stuff? I got it on me. You caught me on the right day. <laughs> yeah, and then I got these little watermelon red worms in my pocket too. But you know those guys are gonna be sitting at those ponds down the street and not catching anything. Before you rolled up, dude, there was... <laughs> yes! <That's so> <laughs> I just got it because this media mod came out and I wanted to use a mic. That's really the only reason. I could care less about the video because yeah. uh, they've all been good. Dude, the, the GoPro's tripping. I might take it out of loop mode, but... It cut right when I pulled the fish out. This thing is acting up and it's saying repairing files. I'm probably just gonna turn it off and then turn it back on. It might be because I got that portable charger plugged in, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm still getting the kinks worked out over here. But look, that's number two for the day. Number two. They're just, uh, they must be congregate, uh, congregated right out here, man. There must be a deep pocket or something and they're just chilling. So I should get a little Insta photo on this one, why not? Can't be slacking, man. I'm this release on film, hopefully don't cut out halfway through the swim off right here. Look headed right back out there to tell the friends this drop shot time. We have identified the juicy juice. You know, I'm normally stuck in this pocket right here and that's where I get my hits, but I'm feeling pretty good about casting right out here in the middle. Boom, right where I've gotten both my hits and I mean, I'm barely even popping this thing. I'm pretty much letting it sit. Guys, a little bummed out from here on the entire <laughs> has no audio from the GoPro. Actually, for like the next hour and 15 minutes, the video is completely ruined from here on out. We catch more fish, we fish more ponds, but this piece of shit that I paid $80 for and literally upgraded the GoPro just to use, right, with an external mic, um, just like lost connection, the mic was never touched, the mic was literally plugged in the entire time on this direct input, and Half of the vlog has no audio. Literally an hour and 15 minutes of like, you know, two and a half to three hours worth of filming has no audio. Look at, watch me scroll through this timeline. All of this has no audio. If I were to skim over it, there's no audio. And then randomly towards the very end at the last pond, so probably like the last 10 minutes, it kicked back in. So the audio kicked back in just out of nowhere. And it's like, this is the stuff that we're supposed to be able to rely on. And I know I had told you guys the audio is really good with this, but the thing is, it's only good if it works. Um, the audio is not very good with the media mod kit with the built-in mics. This back mic sucks. The front mic sucks. You still pick up way too much wind noise. It's really not the best audio quality, but I knew that using an external mic, which I did, would provide the best quality. So I have the external mic plugged into my, uh, or kind of strapped up to my chest mount, and that was how I was filming this vlog. And it was perfect for the first hour you see. But after moving around a little bit, 
obviously you just can't rely on it so that sucks because I wanted to be able to use this thing in future videos and I'm not I can't trust it literally after it's like we had so much me and Charles had so much good conversation we caught a bunch more fish and you don't get to hear any of that energy excitement any of those tips um, and it's all because of this gar like literally piece of garbage right here that I paid $80 for I wanted to make sure I got it up front to kind of test it out for you guys uh, and I literally only bought this GoPro because I wanted to use that media mod kit. I didn't buy it because the video. All the GoPros have great video. If you're using a four, five, six, or seven, or eight GoPro, you're in good shape. Uh, the audio is what we're worried about, right? Well, if you're gonna run into issues like this, especially the first time taking it out for a dedicated vlog, it's just, you can't rely on it. So there's my two cents on the GoPro media mod. Uh, I no longer care for it at all, and I'm just gonna go back to using the GoPro by itself. And that will be that. Let's go ahead and finish this thing out. We do catch some more fish. This is going to be pretty cool. And we do get audio towards the end. So stick it out. You could be the muse to my passion. We can make love like an act of God. I just match my words. To my actions, magic in my life's everlasting. I said, I could add a world, be with any girl, but something about your sound makes me want a man up. You should fill up cups, catch a flick, and do some stuff. I'm used to one that stands, but with you, that's not enough. I don't want a front, I just want to see you. Please give me a sign, yeah. Give me a sign if you wanna come Please give me a sign yeah. I don't wanna front, I just wanna see you Please give me a sign if you wanna come Why are you presenting games I don't wanna play Oh I've been on my grind I just I got bites Oh, he's on. First fish at this pond, guys. I've never caught one here. I don't think it's big. It looks it looks tiny. But he's out deep. There we go. We were just talking, too, because it's been a minute. I think this is the longest we've gone without a bite. It's probably been 20 minutes. Look at his color. He's like silver. This guy is pale compared to the rest. Or maybe that was just first impression. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that, that reel's a little clanky. When she was new, she purred. Yeah, meeting up with Charles, man, that was super cool. We got on some fish today. I was not expecting it, but it is a beautiful day. Now it is time to head into work and get to Valet and some cars. So let me go ahead. I'm going to get over there, grab my bag and rods, and I'll meet you guys back at the car. Catch up with you over there. Y'all, we are back at the car, and we had a ton of fun with the man Charles. You guys have got to check him out. I'm going to put him down in the description, Instagram, and his YouTube channel. He was cranking him. Dude, we meet up. We're fishing the pond, having no luck over there at the, well, I shouldn't name the spot, should I? I don't want to be blamed for burning these spots now. And needless to say, we said, let's cruise down the street, try something new. Nobody was getting hits over there, and it's a popular spot, highly pressured. We come over here, right off the bat, we just started bam, raking bam, them bam. up. Exactly. A lot of them were mid-conversation, too. Mid-conversation. We're talking about this, that, and the other, and then boom, fish on, fish on. You saw us missing a few as well, but we had a ton of fun. Do not forget to check out mystery tackle box baby you can try your first one for as low as $4.99 link in the description use code Weston at checkout and we'll catch you guys on the next one we had a ton of fun until the next one baby Later. peace let's go <gasps> wait, 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 wait wait hold that thought don't click off the video just yet we figured out the GoPro thing and then also we have the new Carl's bait and tackle order and despite the size of this box there's actually a lot of stuff in here baits and lures you have never seen featured on the channel that we're excited to unbox in the next video. I have to get ready for work now. Literally got to leave in a little over 20 minutes. And I just want to reiterate how pumped we are on the sexy Stradman hoodie. We just got this thing in. It's one of 95. Literally, I've been following Stradman for a while now. What has he got, like 2 million subscribers on YouTube? He does a whole lot with cars. Uh, just makes some awesome videos. Very high energy, awesome dude. And I wanted to give back as soon as I saw that he had a limited edition merch sale going. And so I did just that. Ordered it on the spot, received it yesterday. Took it out fishing today. She kept me warm and cozy for all those bass out there with Charles. Let me get y'all hooked up with his page real fast. That way we don't lose sight here. 
So Charles YouTube is actually outdoors with Chuck. If you guys go check out his page, I'm telling you what, you won't be disappointed. Super cool guy. I'm sure his videos are legit top notch. Let's go ahead and give him a little shout. Maybe head over to his channel, leave a comment on one of his videos. That'd be super awesome. Just met him today. We had an absolute blast. And now, peace out. <gasps>